Hi, in this clip, I'd like to show you how to make an actual t-shirt sandal. The materials you need are the t-shirt strips, 7 centimeters wide. I introduced how to make these in making t-shirt sandals preparation one clip. And these are two thongs. One is 70 centimeters long and the other one is 40 centimeters long. And I also explained how to make these in making t-shirt sandals preparation two clip. And this is 140 centimeters long polypropylene twine that I bought from Walmart. Um, it was very cheap. It was a bundle and it, it cost about $4. It was on sale at that time too. And this is the cloth pen. And this is another piece of polypropylene twine, which is 30 centimeters long. And these are a pair of scissors. So, and on top of these, I will use a piece of tape. So, let's get going. First, let's see. We'll use these and okay. Now pick up thirty centimeters uh, twine and one side with a piece of tape. Uh, roll around just like this, okay. And the other side but in the same way let's see like this okay so both side and pick up the long one 70 centimeters one and from the edge of the tube put the twine inside it okay and then kind of you know you can feel the twine from outside of that tube so you move the twine right in the middle of the 70 centimeters tube okay so like it's about that. So here, right here is the twine, and this is just the tube without the twine. You can feel, and then you can make it like half. You know, this is the half point right here, and you clip with the cloth pin like this, okay? And put this one down for now and pick up the 40 centimeters long one and same way make it into half okay and there is a hole right so let's see pick up another one and put this hole put this one behind the cloth bin like this okay and hold everything and take off this cloth pin like this and there is a hole right here and there are you know legs of that shorter tube and put this into this hole like this okay and then just pull pull like this so looks like this okay now this part is done this is the thong part of the sandal now okay 
Now, the fun part comes. So, the materials you also need are the feet, your feet. And let's see, this is 140. This is 140 centimeters long twine, the polypropylene twine that I've never been able to see. Okay. Now, oh, sorry. So what you do is the edge of the twine, make a loop, okay, like this and then put the edge into the loop from the other side. I just want to make a knot, so like this, okay, like this. And after that, let's see, after that, after that, let's see. So after that, like this, right? So put the loop right between two toes and put the two toes, oh, two toes in the loop like this, okay? And pull this all the way where the nut is, like this, okay? Now, not this one, but the one below the nut with the nut, you twist once like this, and then put this top one down, and then hold with left hand everything like this. Now you can see this cross, right? Right here. So what you will do is with cloth pin, you push, or you can push with the hand too. But what you need to do is you need to pin the cross point like this, okay? It's okay, like this. So, looks like this before you start making sandal. Now, okay, now let's start. Bring your um, cloth in them, maybe cloth strip, and then pull a little bit to stretch it out and fold into half like this, you know, you can see. Okay, and then left hand, you know, there is one, two, three, four twines. I mean strings, right? And there is a river here in between, river here, and then here, three. So put the first river, the pointer, and second river, middle finger, and then third river, the ring finger, okay, like this. Now, you know you're holding this one and hold like this, you have a hole and there is here, where in front of the middle finger, there is this line. So under this line, slip it like this. And there is a hole, right? But you don't have to put the middle finger but um put the rest so there is a twine and put the rest of this into the hole and then pull hard like this okay now pick one maybe this side and here go under this twine, okay? I'm start, starting to weave. And then go over this twine and go under this twine. Oops. 
and this really comes off quite easily so just keep it here or maybe you can even tape it and then after it comes over and then go back to middle ones over and under over and this is the edge so just leave it here the next one pull it and then I started okay let's do the same t-shirt okay right here pull it and you know I stopped here and I dropped the bottom so before where you dropped you start again you drop and then you go over under over under over under over and under over under over under over again it came up like this and then about this much you can pull your fingers and then squeeze down like this and then you drop to here in the middle so another one you stretch out and then start one before where you dropped so over under over and then under over under over under over under over yep just keep going oh okay if you don't have much left here then rather doing this you just drop it off here the the tighter you make the width will become narrow so just watch out that part and then pull and start one before so here go under over under and This looks difficult, but it's not that difficult. Um, this is what my 11 year old son did for his recycling project. And he recycled the t-shirts to make his own sandal like this. So it's not impossible. For the kids to make these actually it's fun project for the kids fun summer project for kids and it dropped again right here and then let's see change the color maybe and stretch out and i dropped it here so one before Uh, by the way, I I showed the materials at the beginning of this clip and that's the shirt. I used three 3T three sized t-shirts, all the t-shirts. So just you can see how much you need.
move that one one before. And basically you're just keep doing it as long as your feet are. If you're making them for kids, the smaller toddlers, then it's much faster. But if you're making for bigger kids or adults even, then it takes more longer and you need more t-shirts. And uh, the twine needs to be longer too. Let's see. I am a six, six, six and a half. So this will be a little more. Let's see, you dropped it here. Start running. a little bit more so let's do it for me here go oops under Not much space left now. Okay. No. I took off clip because it was in my way. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Let's see. This size is fine. Oop like this maybe for my eight-year-old son so basically it was like this okay it was like this and then it's done then you finish somewhere between here or here or here and drop it like this and go back down here you know and on tie this knot like this okay and take this clip off and what you will do is um, pick one of the twine and pull pull you know how this came down okay and then after that, you pull the other one. 
it closes like this the top and then this is the bottom of the sandal now flip over like this and here you need to end this part too so you need to tie once and let's see and tie one more time and then oops sorry and then after that you need to use the scissors cut about two centimeters from the nut like this and the other side this is it okay this side looks like this and the back is like this now here is some work needed so what you will do is kind of here you can see the twine so you wrap it up and put it in basically it's your choice which hole which way you put like this you cover it you know nicely and try not to show and then um, the long ones you can cut and then let's see cut and then you can put it in somewhere like this basically so right here let's see if I can cut you can cover it up and kind of do Let's see, put here. So put this to the side somewhere like this, and then just cover it with And then twine would be better with white. I looked for white one so that it covers that at the end. It would be nice if twine is white and thinner and softer. <laughs> 